animals and humans will forever be forced to coexist and because of this will adapt based on one another. Rodents asking for water from humans walking down the street or the genuine elation a mother has for the freeing of their young are only some of the fantastic things changing right now. From thirsty snakes to curious foxes, here are 15 times animals asked people for help. Thirsty Snake The longer and more often the planet's wild creatures become accustomed to human interaction, the more often they'll demonstrate impressive displays like this one. Snakes are typically extremely shy of humans, so when one comes up and asks for a drink of water, you know this snake has been around humans a lot or was really needing that drink of water. One commenter poked fun at the situation by saying the snake just wanted a drink of water before it went on to lunch on that human. This isn't the first time it's been seen, and another serpent of the king cobra species was captured on footage doing the same thing. In this case, the king cobra really could make a meal out of the human should it decide to. To be fair, if one of the serpents was raised in captivity and drank water in this manner, it could easily replicate that behavior whenever a trigger is switched. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Not so hot dog. Every once in a while, humans will behave in a way that restores faith in the species. This is clearly one of those moments. This New York resident witnessed two canines struggling for dear life swimming in a lake when he decided to hop in and save them. Not only did he save the dogs from death, someone was there to capture the whole amazing thing on footage. The New York resident was walking past when he heard shouts coming from nearby the lake. When he arrived, he found a woman in distress that her two dogs were in dire circumstances. Without a second's hesitation, he leaped into the freezing waters and rescued them. The dogs were paddling but visibly losing their steam and couldn't find a place to rest. For 15 minutes, the dogs were stranded out there, but they were lucky enough to escape with only hypothermia as a result. The kind pedestrian said he used to live in Siberia, so he was accustomed to such frigid temperatures. If it had been anyone else that happened upon the dire scene, they might not have survived the plunge if they had decided to take it. Good thing for her this guy was equipped with exactly what he needed. <laughs> Ducks in the drain Storm drains may be an awesome human innovation that routes water away from cities and towns, but to the animal kingdom, it's yet another obstacle they have to overcome to survive. When these ducklings found themselves stranded in these Phoenix area storm drains, the mother could only sit high above them and quack commands at her chicks. Unfortunately for the ducklings, there wasn't anything they could do. Phoenix firefighters eventually showed up on the scene and saved the family, along with a dozen more over the year. Firefighters worked with caution as the mother watched helplessly from the side, not knowing whether these humans were planning to make a meal of her chicks or save them. You can see the stress in her behavior. She allowed the rescue staff to work undisturbed, resulting in a clean and effective saving procedure. The little ducklings are going to have to watch out for those grates if they intend to make human cities their homes. Duckling families are constantly getting stuck in Arizona storm drains, but most of them don't result in such heartwarming endings. Fox gets stuck. When animals get trapped by human waste, it's always a tragic sight. Unfortunately for the animals, most of the time there's nothing they can do about it. Aside from happening upon a human and asking them for help, incidents like this happen every day. Luckily for this fox, a ranger was nearby and willing to help. The fox was in desperate need of assistance and knew it by the way they approached the human. It screams, help me! With that jar around its poor head, it wouldn't even be able to drink, eat or anything aside from breathing. Even after the ranger kneels down and helps the fox, it takes some maneuvering in order to free the beast. After finally being set free, the baby fox even turns around to glance at that random creature that helped him out. Even with the aid of other foxes or its parent, it wouldn't have been able to remove that jar. This is a perfect example of how littering has a ripple effect across the world. It may just be trash to a human, but for creatures like this fox, it can be a death trap. <laughs> Sitting on the fence Having that nice, beautiful fence might seem like a good idea at first, but when you wake up the next day and find a scene like this in your backyard, you can't help but be horrified at its design. 
All along the wall, the magpies are in clear distress. They wiggle and flap their wings in vain attempts at escape. It's sad, really, and the fence should be fixed so there aren't hundreds of birds getting snagged between the planks. Luckily, this woman was kind enough to free many of them and record the whole thing on her TikTok channel. Since dropping the video, it's garnered more than 17 million views and the attention of animal experts and conservationists around the globe, some of them calling for the immediate removal and replacement of the fence with something less destructive. If you were ever put in a position like this, would you go about rescuing them all and calling in action for the fence to be removed? When you have 17 million people behind you screaming at the top of their lungs in horror toward this, maybe it needs to be removed or modified so that this can't happen again ever. Poor birds didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Thirsty Koala It's not just humans who need to keep their hydration levels safe, animals need it just as much. When you see crazy wild animals like this koala asking humans for water, you know it must be thirsty. Either that or it's been around enough human handlers to understand what a water bottle is and how to take a drink from it. When it just occurs in the middle of the wild, on the other hand, things are getting eerie. These cyclists were cruising down the street. When they approached, the koala took notice of them and ran over after seeing one of the cyclists drinking from a bottle. Australia's heat wave is causing more and more creatures to do crazy things for a necessity like water. Heck, that koala couldn't have cared less whether the human was going to capture it or not. It was dying from heat exhaustion. It was a kind human, and they let the koala take a big swig of water before it waltzed back off into the wilderness. The area of Australia where this occurred is a state of emergency thanks to the record-breaking high temperatures and subsequent bushfires that raged for months. Last week, Adelaide, Australia hit 113 degrees. If you're heading out to Australia, make sure you bring plenty of water for yourself and maybe one or two bottles for the dehydrated animals out there as well. Fawn Reunited with Mother Fawn is often considered the sweet and pure spirits of the Force and is a natural wonder of beautiful nature. With their quiet and elusive character, deer are known to be very protective of their young. However, in order to survive, they may have to leave their fawn in the wild all alone for a few hours a day to go in search of food and evade danger. Fawn depend on their mothers to grow and thrive in their natural habitats and learn from their mannerisms and behavior to the environment. If a mother runs from a human, odds are the fawn will too. If the mother is friends with a human, a fawn will likely be the same way. They form strong familial bonds, especially with that of their mother. When they get unintentionally separated, a mother deer will stay in the area and do whatever it takes to free its fawn. Unfortunately, that's not always possible. This fawn got wedged between two fences upside down. The mother stayed just outside the fence and whined. Eventually, an owner of the home saw the issue and went out to see what all the commotion was about. After finding the deer and eventually rescuing it from its predicament, the deer's mother is elated to be reunited with her baby. She doesn't even let the human put the fawn down before she starts kissing the fawn with licks. It clearly learned that day that not all humans are bad. <laughs> Tired Sloth Sloths are impressive mammals often found among trees of Central and South America in the tropical rainforests. They're famous for their tremendously slow movements, from their migrations across the forest down to the very way they climb trees. While they're typically understood to be arboreal animals, they often find themselves cooling off with refreshing dips. Swimming, too, is conducted in an extremely slow fashion. Although they're still slow, they're faster in the water, three times as much actually. Again, this is relative to their land speed, so there isn't much to compete over in terms of raw speed with sloths. Its habitat is constantly berated with rising water levels due to rain or floods. Not only can a sloth swim and swim fast, but they also have to in order to survive. Typically, if sloths need to move to a new region of trees, they wait out the waters to rise to swim and reach their destination without ever touching the ground. This allows them to evade all their natural predators and safely move to their new location. While they're strong swimmers, they, like the rest of us, can tire out. If this happens and no trees are nearby for a rest, the poor sloth is doomed to drown. The video captured here shows a sloth in such a situation but was lucky enough to be helped by the crew of the boat that filmed it. By extending an oar into the water, the tired sloth grips on like it's a branch or a tree and the boat captain drives him to safety. He seems to enjoy the ride as well. 
<laughs> Honey badger needs help. Honey badgers are ferocious predators. If you happen across one in the wild, best not get in its way. Despite their small size, they're one of the most powerful and effective hunters in the animal kingdom. With that being said, a rescue attempt at such a beast wouldn't be easy, so the rangers in Australia had to get creative with this little guy. As the rangers passed by a tree, they heard a clawing and screeching from a honey badger. Excited at the notion of seeing one with their own eyes, the rangers followed the sound and found the creature beneath a tree. At first, they just thought he was trying to climb the tree or capture some food, but they quickly realized it was indeed stuck. Here, they had two options, leave the beast or risk their own safety and rescue it. Being rangers, they couldn't just leave the creature to suffer, and so they acted. First, they covered the creature with a blanket, and it almost immediately calmed down. Before, it was baring teeth and growling at the rangers. After, it let them do their work. Eventually, the creature was freed and ran into the wild, where it would likely find and hunt down some prey. Getting stuck and nearly dying sure as heck drives up an appetite. There's a snake in my hood. What's worse than finding a snake in your shoe or your boot? A snake in a place where it can strike at your face? One of the many benefits humans have over snakes is their tallness over them. As some would say, snakes are forced to strike at humans' feet while the human strikes for their head. It seems that snakes have turned the tides and are now going for the head as well. No more ankle bites for these species. Okay, the play on words is over and the hood is that of a car. Imagine trying to get in your car one day and trying to turn it over, but it won't work. You go to open the car hood and find this behemoth resting there. After the initial freakout, what would you do? Not much you can do against a reptile this big, so animal control was called to deal with the serpent. Pythons have become a serious environmental problem in Florida Everglades, and since they eat almost anything and have no natural predators, they're spreading like wildfire. The occasional gator will eat a python, but not enough to call their numbers in any meaningful way. Especially when snakes get to be this size, even a gator will try its luck with easier prey. The largest python captured so far in South Florida was more than 18 feet long, and they're turning up everywhere from cars to showers with increased frequency in recent years. Hmm. Cougar up a tree Saving this kind of cat from a tree is not within the job description of firefighters. Instead, animal experts are called to the scene. Here, there was no option, and firefighters were forced to deal with the ferocious cat themselves. You can hear the guy who actually pulled it from the tree screaming to make sure the beast is asleep for obvious reasons. Just imagine hauling something like a sleeping cougar from a tree when it accidentally awakens and thrashes about, like, well, a wild animal. Not only would the scratches from its claws do massive damage, the firefighter probably wouldn't have been able to hold on and fall to his doom. The dog constantly barks at the wildcat as he isn't a fan of it being in a tree either. After the cougar was removed, it was released back into the wild where it will hopefully stay away from human cities in the future. Imagine the firefighters' surprise when they received the call to come and remove a cougar from the tree. The laughter that ensued. Giraffe stuck in pool. While filming a television show, the cast and crew happened upon a nine-year pregnant giraffe stuck in a swimming pool. It was the perfect setting for the show, and the impressive rescue was all captured on film. It all started when the giraffe escaped her enclosure and made her way into the leopard's den. As you might imagine, the leopards sprang into action, and millions of years of hunter and prey mentality came full force. The giraffe ran, and eventually found itself trapped in their water pool. Handlers were quick to arrive and remove the leopards, but saving the giraffe would require a lot more work. Everyone was called from animal control to the fire brigade to help free the giraffe. First, they drained the pool and then would attempt to use sandbags like stairs for it to walk right out. A ramp would likely be too steep and cause the giraffe to fall back into the pool. The genius idea worked and the giraffe was returned to the safety of her own enclosure. Miss. Hmm. <laughs> only in Florida. Of course, something like this was captured in Florida. Where else in the world would such a crazy, bizarre scenario present itself on a daily basis? From local news networks to websites around the globe, the old man saving his puppy from the death clench of a gator demonstrates how far some will go to save their pet. While most people are scared of gators, many would do the same thing to save their canine companion. They might lose a hand in the process, but at least they have the story and dog back in their lives. Could you allow your pet to go down in such a fashion? This guy wasn't having it. 
The gator that grabbed the pup might not be the biggest in the swamp, but any gator has a death bite that could easily kill a human. Once the gator clamps down, very little will open it back up aside from the gator's intention. Another perfect example of how fast even the simple act of walking your dog in Florida can turn into a hostile situation. Raccoon reaches new heights. Recently, a raccoon daredevil took to new heights in the form of climbing human skyscrapers. It certainly impressed the world with its impressive climbing skills by scaling the side of a 40-story skyscraper where onlookers can see the creature right outside their office window. He was captured on film by multiple staff members of the building. The animal's ascent outside of the UBS building in St. Paul City was observed with fascinated eyes across the globe thanks to the internet. There were even updates being sent out to a following on the raccoon progress up to the side of the building. It was updated regularly by local residents in the Minnesota Public Radio under the hashtag MPR Raccoon. Crowds quickly gathered around the massive city screen that displayed it at the center of downtown. While most stared with amazement, some were infuriated that they were used as entertainment rather than doing anything to help it to safety and out of its precarious predicament. Though it's a fantastic feat, the animal was in danger and should have been removed. Condor Friendship As if it had materialized out from your favorite fairy tale, this special relationship between man and bird is one for the fantasy books and stories. A massive California condor landed in this man's yard as a result of a broken leg and could no longer fly. Edgar, the rancher who befriended the bird, approached carefully with a medical supply kit and aided him back to flight. The bird surprisingly let him in close to work without much of a struggle. It appeared the bird had given up any type of fight whatsoever. Over several months, he fed, applied bandages, and housed the wounded bird until he was returned to health. Once fully healed, the condor even stayed in the area and returned to the man whenever he called. An impressive relationship between man and animal indeed. The rancher was excited about the whole thing and never imagined such a relationship, but he reiterated time and time again to official sources that he is not, in any form or shape, attempting to domesticate the bird. It belongs in the wild. He's just glad he's got a friend like none other. He was later asked whether the bird still returns, to which he responded, as he continued to heal, he appeared less and less, but that's exactly as expected and desired. As animals and humans get used to one another, both are demonstrating remarkably different behavior. Many times the comfort level of approaching the other on either side of nature has been shattered. Animals drinking from human water bottles and hopping along for a boat ride are only a few of the many drastic changes occurring on our planet right now. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox. Mm-hmm. <laughs>